the way that you were prepared yeah. it. So I'm like, well, what is this process? Oh, the way I feel like I, I go about my process. I'm just taking my jacket off. Uh oh, it's getting serious. <laughs> yeah, hot. Nah, the way I, uh, the way I go about writing on music, I, I feel like it's like the most loser way ever. <laughs> I just <laughs> sit in my room alone, like finding a beat on YouTube or something, and then I'll write to the beat. I'll mm-hmm. just like whatever comes to my head or whatever I want that song to be about. I'll just write and then like, like. I won't, I won't like write whatever the first thing that comes to my head. I'll write, I'll think of things and then like sing along to the beat with it and see if it flows or whatever. Yeah. And then if I find, if I like, if I like that bar or whatever, I'll just, I'll write that down, keep that in there. And then I'll, I'll go over that with a beat. I'll run the beat back on it. Keep pra- like, keep practicing that one line, one line until I, I feel like I'm ready to move on to the next line and write that down. Nice. Dang. But that's pretty cool. That's what I do now. When I first started, um, I was in class, and in class we're not allowed to have our phones. Yeah. So I was like, uh, like why? Military. Why, yeah. Military, okay, okay. Yeah. So I was like, why? Why? Why wait till like why wait till I get home to do this? Like I could just right now. I have a bunch of free time. So I didn't have the beat because I couldn't. I couldn't just like look up the beat and then do that. So I was just. I had the beat in my head. Dang. So like, if I didn't pick a beat in the first thing, like in the first before I started writing, I just start writing. I just had a beat like Ghost Ride when I wrote that. I didn't have a beat first. I wrote most of the song way before I had the beat. So mm. I just had like a beat in my head and I was like, I don't want anything other than the beat that I had in my head. Yeah, but yeah, I don't yeah. know how to make a beat. So I was screwed on Dang, that. Dang, that sucks. Yeah. So I was just writing, writing, writing. And like, and then I, when I had like most of the song done, I spent time looking for a beat because I was like, I don't know how to make a beat. So I have to find a beat. Mm. And like, I don't have any friends that know how to make a beat. So, and even if I did, they probably wouldn't get it yeah. to like what I want. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we're going to play a sample of uh, Kay Flair's song. It's called Alone. This was like an insane song. We recorded this in January. I think, so it's, I think it's my best song yet. It was like the second song that he did. Uh, same session, second, second song in January. And uh, I was just like, what? This was the session that right before we started, we were listening to some Slipknot. Yeah. And uh, some old school Slipknot, and um, yeah, and then you busted this out, and uh, I've let a couple of people listen to it. Like, people have come, been coming in the studio, I'm like, dude, listen to this song. Really? Yeah, dude. And what, they're what? like, oh, dude, that's sick. For real? Yeah. Dang. They're like, I like that. So, here's just a little sample of it, and uh, this is Alone. We're just going to give you like a 30 second intro to this new EP, and um, where can we, where can they find you? Oh, on SoundCloud? Uh it's K Flair. Uh, it has two E's at the end, so it's K F L A R E E because somebody already has the name K Flair, right. so okay. I had to put another E. But it's K Flair on SoundCloud, and then uh, Instagram Sorto La Flame, and that's all my all my uh, social medias. If they want to follow me on that, sweet. Uh, yeah, S O R T O La Flame. Yeah. And that's my fear, my drive is still up. 